Welcome to Let's Play NASCAR 2005 Chase for the Cup Part 90. And in this segment, we're going to go trucks and again. This time, we're going to the Indianapolis Raceway Park. So, uh, spoiler alert, I got a poll by eight tenths of a second, so this ought to be a fairly easy race. I might even actually win. We're here tonight at Indianapolis Raceway Park in the great state of Indiana for NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series action. EA Sports is proud to bring you tonight's event as we get set for short track racing under the lights. We're in for quite a show and these 36 NASCAR drivers are strapped in and ready to get things rolling. Alright, so. That was a fairly short introduction, I don't know. Well, like I said, I got pulled by 8 tenths of a second. Yeah. I might um, dominate this race, and by might, I mean I'm absolutely going to dominate this race. So away we go at IRP for the Power Stroke Diesel 200 and immediately off the line. I cleared Mr. Jean Wood, or as I called him in my Dirt Today Tuna LP, John Fucking Wood. As he falls back to third. And I. I pull out a near one second lead in one lap. Very good. So yeah, in case you forgot how IRP works, uh, you want to stay in the middle lane. Middle lane is actually the fastest way around the track. Because the bottom lane is lower banked and therefore not as much grip. So, yeah. Don't go this high though. Yeah, this is my home track. I hope you do good in front of your friends and family. Wait, do you have friends? No. Yes, John fucking Wood of the fucking Wood Brothers. So, uh... About me dominating this race... Four laps complete. My lead is 2.8 seconds. 2.9. See, up to these days. I think John Wood is the uh, social media manager for the Wood Brothers team. At least that's what I've been told. He's also fucking Wood, yeah. Oh, don't hit the ball. Okay, we're good. I'm actually not entering these turns very well. Kind of being a little too aggressive on entry. Oh, I know tire wear is going to be a thing, but I think with as much time as I'm, as much as I'm pulling away here, I might be able to uh, not have to worry about that. We'll see, though. I can't remember what how this race went last season. I think it went pretty well. I might have even won it in fairly dominant fashion, but I honestly can't remember. <laughs> Someone sh should look that up because I am morbidly curious. And dumb. But mostly curious. And also dumb. Meanwhile, I'm lead's almost five seconds. <laughs> and we have one truck breaking away from the pack, ooh. left at high velocities, yes. Hello, Cade. Racing under the lights. Yeah, I think this is the only track in the game, the entire game, where the bottom lane isn't the best lane. So I'm pretty sure at literally every single track, other than this one, if you're not right on that line, you ain't going fast. <laughs> Better listen to Alien Core. Uh, does Being count? Are they Alien Core?
Meanwhile, lead still increasing. Still not entering these turns very well, kind of going a little too wide. Like, a good entry is to, like, have your left tires on the uh, lower banking, let it sail up just a little bit, and then bring it back down. You know, double apex the corner, etc. Oh, I've listened to Cannibal Corpse. Cannibal Corpse is great. I actually need to, like, properly listen to them instead of just, like... It's like, oh, hey, Cannibal Corpse. Huh, huh. Let's kind of listen to them in passing. Or when Rob Scallon does ukulele covers of their music, but anyways. Oh, tire wear. Okay. My pace has actually dropped quite a bit from my best lap. I didn't even realize that. Ooh. That's one reason why I like uh, the <clears throat> later NASCAR Heat games is because you actually can run the higher lanes and be fast. I did that a lot in Heat Evolution and Heat 2 when I played them. Just run fucking Larson Lane and kick ass. Yes, the tires are getting tired. Hey look, it's the back of the field. How close am I to buying my own truck team? Oh, I have the money, it's just a matter of finishing the season. Because I think I have like at least $800,000, close to nine hundred grand, and it only costs seven fifty to uh, start a truck team. Heat Evolution was difficult to win. I didn't think so. I think mean, it's just me. Maybe it wasn't difficult for me because I'm god at raising games. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up, me. Alright, 20 laps down, 5 before halfway. And my lead is holding steady at, at uh, 8 seconds. So, good shit. Difficult to win in career mode. Yeah, until you got, you know, your car upgraded enough. And it's like, hey, the W's are just flying in. Again, that could just be a me thing. I still remember one of my... <coughs> my probably my favorite track to drive around in... The, uh, the two new NASCAR Heat games, as well as NASCAR uh, Inside Line, is Dover. I don't know what they did to Dover in these modern NASCAR games, but it is so, so much fun to drive around. It's it's way too much fun. <laughs> it's really hard to actually like do, do well in a race because I constantly crash, but it's still a fuck ton of fun to drive around Dover. Oh, and we got pit stops beginning. Hello, Ruben. Oh, geez. Hello. Sliding into turn one. Fair is Talladega. <laughs> eh. I'm not a fan of Daytona and Talladega personally, but hey. You know, to each their own. Alright, and we're halfway, so now I need to start thinking about a pit stop. Oh, God, big slide. And you know what? I think I'm going to pit now. Just so I don't have to deal with this traffic. Oh, please make it. Okay, I made it. For a second there, I thought I wasn't going to make the actual turn into the pits, but hey, we're good. Alright. <coughs> yeah. Pinions. Or things. So, solid pit stop no far. So, no f Wow, so far. 
Something I haven't actually, I've realized. Pit mistakes are very rare <laughs> in this game. Like, I've seen maybe two pit mistakes, I think, so far in this LP. This entire LP. And that's how you heat up your tires. Alright, now we're in the awkward situation where I'm actually around other trucks, so I have to adjust my line. Ooh, we're good. Everything is fine. Those guys are pitting. Yeah, I heard that NASCAR bought Arca. 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 I actually thought, like, this whole time that Arca was, like, a subsidiary of NASCAR. I didn't even think anything about it. Until I'm like, oh. Huh, okay. <laughs> this is news to me. Whoops. I need to be very careful around these trucks because their corner entries are really awkward and kind of fuck with my line a lot. Oh, I need to pay attention still looking at chat. I am around a lot of trucks here. Go, go, go. Me. I'm going to have to use the bottom lane here. Oh, God. The grip is not. Oh, and see how much slower I have to go around the turns on the bottom lane. Do I have my hair slicked back? Kind of, yeah. I got a haircut recently, so I can actually fuck with it a little bit. Instead of just being a thick pile of brown. I want to get off this bottom lane. Oh, shit. Excuse me. Pardon me. Sorry. So, still have the lead. I lost about half a second out of my lead through that pit cycle. Not too bad. Victory's still well within my grasp. What time is it for me? It is 2.15 in the morning. Stuck on the Beat the Heat drafting challenge. Uh... Hmm. The only tip I can really give you with that is you have to be very smooth with your steering. You can't, like, you know, like, jerk the car back and forth because you'll lose too much speed in the corners. You actually have to, like, use, you know, just a little bit of steering, not just go full lock on the stick, analog stick. Also, I just read your thing about the eye racing thing, Cade. That sound that I would definitely play that and fucking probably love it. All right, fourteen to go here at IRP. As I hit the wall. Oh, jeez. Nope, time for more bottom lane shenanigans. Or, oh god! He saved it. He saved it. Oh shit, excuse me, sorry. Yee. We're good, we're good. Alright, everything is fine. We are okay. Travis, please. Don't be a twat. Okay, this is a very awkward situation, because I don't know how late he's going to turn in here. Okay. At least their turn three entries aren't as late as their turn one entries, which you're probably about to see. Or I can just fucking do that. Alright. That almost worked. Yeah. Suck at smooth steering. I mean, it's just... I don't really know what to say, other than just keep trying. Practice. Oh, you fuck. Is it possible to reach a point in this game where every opponent simultaneously loves and hates you? No. They either really like you, or neutral, or they fucking want to murder you. 
can't really have both. Which console I'm playing on the Xbox? The original Xbox. If there wasn't a console called the Xbox One, I would call it the Xbox One. There's eight to go here at IRP. Still with an eight and a half second lead, so. Using the Duke controller. Now I'm using the uh, the smaller one. I'm using the one that's actual for normal human hands instead of fucking you know giant troll. No, giant trolls, giants. No, you can't simultaneously have a high hero or a villain level. It's one or the other. It's like a uh, it's a it's a uh, like a Paragon Renegade system. You're either, you know, you're either really good or really evil. Oh yeah, I saw about that thing about the fucking Duke controller. Like they're producing one for the Xbox One or whatever. It's great. Don't know how to record. You need a capture card to record games. I personally use an Elgato Game Capture HD, but there's more updated versions of this. Mine's kind of old. Um, the best recommendation I can give you is like an Elgato <clears throat> capture card, whether it's like a Game Capture 60 or 60 Pro or whatever. You can find cheaper ones, but they're not as good and reliable. Like. I personally think Elgato is probably the best, you know, dollar per functionality. Pound for pound, the best. Whoa. Mr. AutoZone here got a little loose. There's two to go. Not really... I'm just trying to hold it together here, trying to not cause any accidents or anything. Travis, you're not making it easy for me. Yeah, Elgato is pretty much like the go-to capture device, whether whether it's for uh, like recording videos or doing live streams. It's just good. Like, it's, it's just a really good product. And there we go. Very, very dominant victory at IRP. I'm honestly not surprised. At all. Because IRP in the trucks is, like, fucking super easy mode for some reason. So there we go. Win the race from pole. Led all but three laps. Won by seven seconds over Carl Edwards. So he continues his recovery after that DNF at Levi. I think it was that Levi, wasn't it? Something like that. Here's the rest of the results. I didn't see how many trucks I lapped, so, yeah. so I gotta scroll back up. 21 trucks finished on the lead lap. Nice. So there we go. Why no do donut? I don't know. I've shown the celebration a couple times. I don't really care to do it all the time. Just, just like, whoa, I'm fucking doing donuts. Okie doke. Ew, okie dokie. So there we go. There's that. So let's check the, uh, the, 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 the updated point standings. Oh, wow. <laughs> I increased my lead by about 100 points there. So uh, Carl's back up to second, but 144 behind me. So I'm, suddenly my points lead is back up to almost a full race. Very good. Very good. So, uh, let's go to the trophy room, because I can't remember if this is a new victory or not. I just gotta figure out fucking... Which trophy it is. Here we go. Power Stroke Diesel 200. Here it is. In all of its generic trophy glory. Yay. Woo. So, that'll conclude this segment. So, next time, we will move on to the second half of our IRP doubleheader. Stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that.